Chicken Cakes, a local bakery serving traditional Puerto Rican treats. Joining us now to share a traditional treat for the holidays, owner and CEO, Rachel Diaz. Thank you so much for coming in. And thank you for having us. We have something with puff pastry, and let me tell you, it's kind of fun to work with puff pastry, right? Because yeah. you can get it frozen, you thaw it out, and you don't have to worry about like trying to laminate it and get it all right. So uh, this seems like a pretty simple thing that a lot of people can do in their own home. Yes, and this is something so versatile. You can change it to so many flavors. We're going to do the basic quesito here. Sure. And to me, like you always describe it, kind of like a cross between a cheese danish and a croissant. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. So how, what do we have going here? Yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prep the puff pastry. Okay. We're going to cut it into uh, smaller rectangles because this will be too big for a quesito. Okay. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to, some people like to just put the cheese straight there. Okay. But um, I like to mix mine with a little bit of vanilla sure. and a little bit of powdered sugar. Okay. And then you can do this however um, sweet you want it. Okay. So um, I just like to beat it all in here, and then I already came prepared with one bag. Look at that! But if you Ready don't have, <laughs> right? <laughs> if you don't have one of these fancy puppies, the Ziploc but, bag works yeah, as well. This works right. Yeah, yeah it just, does. Um, cut the tip of it, and okay. then you're gonna make like a nice thick line because you want. A full quesito, oh yes, right? we definitely want a lot of <laughs> filling in that, don't we? Yeah, so we're just gonna go from one corner to the next, okay, like so. And from one sheet, you can have about eight of them. Okay. You can uh, make them in any size you like. We also have some mini ones at the bakery as well for the holidays. Okay. And then um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna do a little egg wash. Sure. So it's basically just some egg. We're gonna beat it up, and we're going to. Oh, those are some fan. That's a fancy fork you got right? there. Right. It's nice my and mom's. golden. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to take that and we're going to put a little bit of egg here and this is going to help it to adhere um, okay. so it doesn't open up while you're baking. Sure, yeah, we don't want that, do we? Yeah, and then we're just going to fold two corners, the opposite corners over. Okay. And before you get it into the oven, I like to give it another little egg wash on top Okay. and sprinkle some sugar over the top. And it just goes in the oven at 350 for like 20 minutes or a little bit more depending on your oven. Now, we have some of the finished products right over here, yes? Yes, we do. Right Those over. are the regular quesitos and you can also add some guava and make them quesito with guava. Oh, that, seem, that sounds amazing. What, what, this seems to be pretty versatile, yeah? Yes. You um, can, what other flavors would you suggest? Um, I'm actually experimenting now at the bakery, so every month I'm making a new quesito. Okay. Um, so for fall, um, we yeah, had pumpkin like the spice. pumpkin spice. Yep. Yeah. And we are thinking of doing maybe like a coquito one. Um, we did also like an ube coconut one. It was oh, nice. really good. That yeah. Was ube's ube's like the the new cool kid thing to do in all the bakeries right totally, now. Totally. I've noticed yeah. that. We also have all these cookies here. Yeah. Um, some meringues in there. What else do you have? Yeah, meringue. We have um, almond cookies with guava. Those are called the mantecaditos. This uh, tray comes with everything. It's for the holidays, um, and you can get it online. And it's a good variety of a little bit of everything Puerto Rican in there. Now, when, we, when we're going through this, um, how do we know that these are finished? Uh, you see the puff pastry, obviously it puffs up. Right. Um, but is, is, there a, is there a sweet spot in there where if you see it puff up, it's not quite done, you don't want to make sure, you want to make sure you don't have raw dough in there still? Right, so this is actually um, pretty thin dough, so it cooks quickly. Okay. Um, so as long as you see like it's nice and golden over the top and the bottom is not too mushy, then you're good to go. You'll be good. <laughs> what, what's in these? cups here. I keep on noticing these. These are the tembleques. It's like a coconut pudding. Okay. Um, and it's, it jiggles. That's why we call it tembleque because tembleque is temblar in Spanish. Okay. <laughs> right there. Let's see. Shakes. Yeah. Oh, it sure does. I have a little spoon that. here if you want to try it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> not good mine. Oh, look. I managed to not get anything on me. Awesome. <laughs> mm. That's something that we normally do for the holidays. Yeah. And that is, we only have it for Christmas. Mm. When did you start the bakery? Um, we started it um, from the streets, and then we opened the bakery finally in 2021. Okay. Um, and we have a couple locations. We have one in Archer Avenue, and one, it's kind of like by Meatway, and this then we really have good. one in Logan Square. Rachel, this is very good. Yeah, I'm glad you like that. This is amazingly good, <laughs> but I like pudding. I'll be very, <laughs> yeah. be very successful when I go over to the old folks home, because they, <laughs> they love their pudding and their jello. Rachel, thank you again so much. Uh, so this goes into the oven. We're going to put the recipe uh, WGNTV.com. Yes. And let's show the folks at home uh, where they can find you. Uh, 
Warrington Cakes has two locations, as you mentioned, one near uh, Midway, the other in Logan Square. You can visit uh, their Instagram, their TikTok, and their Facebook. You're on all the social medias. Yes. Rachel, thank you so much. You appreciate it. And thank you. It was a pleasure. Merry Christmas. Hey, Tim.